Hello everybody, Mike here from Game, and we are playing Lost Vault. More specifically, we are taking a look at the Expiration tab, and the Wasteland section, and the Settings. So, let's go over this real quick, and when you're done with this, you should be able to use all the new features of the latest update for Lost Vault. Let's do this. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you're going to want to four finger tap the bottom of your phone. One rank, tap six of six. You'll hear that one rank. Whenever you hear a number before a tab, that means there's an action that needs to take place in that tab. But let's just continue on. Swiping back toward the left. One clan, tab five of six. You'll hear one clan. Selected, explore, tab four of six. And now you hear that I'm on the explore tab three of six. Once you have found the tab that you want to explore, double tap. We are now on the Explorer tab. We're going to take a look at the Exploration Settings menu, which has some really cool features that Camille Rykosi has just added that are absolutely incredibly convenient, accessible, and fantastic and fun to use. All right, once you have selected the Explorer tab, go ahead and touch the center of your screen. Winter Throne button. As you can hear, I am on the Winter Throne. Now, with the new update, you have a much easier time figuring out what area you are in in the exploration map. Now that you've heard me touch that part in here, Winter Throne, and I could have very well have swiped through the entire screen and got to it also by simply forefinger tapping the top of the screen. Here I go. Center of screen. Center of screen. My resources, cash 2.84M, bottle cap 711 water, 98 slash 480 water recovery, zero hours, 58 minutes, button. That's what happens when you four finger tap the top of the screen, you get read all your statistics, including your money, your water, your bottle caps, and the time of hours it takes for you to receive your new load of water. Now, if you were to swipe to your right, you could eventually get to the same place I was by simply touch navigating. I'm going to show you how to do it by just right swiping. Selected, wastelands, tab one of three, caravan, tab two of three, vaults, tab three of three, info, winter throne, button. There you go. Progress three slash five winter microclimate, despite the surrounding high temperature, exploration not encouraged. So you get exactly where I was before, just touch navigation is a slight bit faster, but you can do the same thing the way I exactly showed you. and. You can double tap when you hear the button. Everything's accessible and you can do it that way too. All right, so now that we have the menu that tells us where we're exploring, as you know, exploring in Lost Vault is the primary part of the game where you get loot, where you find water bottles, gems, equipment, treasures, consumables, anything you can think of can be found in the wastelands. And in fact, you want to make sure that when you receive your new water at 5 a.m. respectively and either 4 a.m. and 4 p.m., depending on what time of the year it is, it does jump forward an hour. So it will be 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. So you're going to want to make sure you empty that water out and do your exploring. Remember, your water does not build up. So if you get 400 plus water, you will not get another 400 plus water on top of that. You're simply going to have what we call an overflow and a waste. So you're going to want to make sure you are having your notifications turned on for Lost Vault, but also you might want to set your own personal alarms that might tell you when it's time to empty your water. I like to use the notifications that come built in with Lost Vault. They're easy to use and you simply just want to make sure that the app can contact you. And if you have Do Not Disturb on, you might want to give it a bypass so it can go through your Do Not Disturb settings. Unless you're doing something like me, you're recording something, or you have a very important appointment. Anyway, now that you know how to make sure that you hear your notifications, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new settings. So I'm going to touch it. Winter Throne button. Double tap it. 
my resources, cash 2.84M, bottle cap 711 water, 98 slash 480 water recovery, zero hours, 55 minutes, button. Okay, when you touch and then double tap, you will again hear Winter Throne. You are now on the menu that allows you to do the settings and the auto explorers and everything else. You can also do solo explorers one at a time by using 10 water at a time. But in this case, we're going to take a brief look at the settings and talk about how you can utilize them. So I'm gonna to touch the screen. District for progress 377 slot water auto button. That's the water auto button that will keep exploring to you meet certain conditions. And we're gonna talk about those. Button settings. Now you hear this, the settings button. So once you hear that, this is what you can do now. Let's go double tap that. Settings, auto explore, heading. You will hear that information. And now you are in a special menu called the, the it's a brand new explore settings menu, which is really cool. Let's go over what you can do now. Quick fights, switch automatic, auto explore, auto explore, heading. All right, so you have auto explore. Automatically open chests, switch button, on. So Double when, tap to toggle setting. Uh, so what this means is that when you are auto exploring, it will automatically open up chests. Now you don't have to do this, but I would highly recommend you do this because if you have more chests and you have slots, that chest simply gets thrown away. Now I like to see a future uh, in the future that has, let's try to say that three times fast, that allows you to store up extra chests. Maybe we could have like a goblin assistant that keeps some of your extra loot, extra water, takes care of your overflow, empties your buildings when they're full. That would be extremely cool if we had that extra feature. But it is right now, you don't have anybody that's gonna open up your chests. So you need to make sure this feature is turned on. It will open up the chests as you find them. All right, so that's called- Auto Explorer, head automatically open chests. Switch button on. You can turn double that tap to off setting. or on. I'm gonna double tap it. Off. I'm gonna double tap it again. On. Uh, there you go. I like to leave mines on because I definitely want when it auto explores to automatically open my chest that I find in the wastelands. Let's go to the next new settings feature. Quick fights, switch button off. All double right. Double tap to toggle setting. Quick fights, which I think should have a little bit more tool information here is as I remember, a little bit faster fight. So I have it turned off, but you can also turn it on. Automatic quick fights, switch button, off. All right. Double tap quick fights X2, switch button, off. This Double means tap to toggle setting. quick fights times two, so the fights will go even faster. So if you want to go really snap, 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 you know, really quickly through the fights, you can turn quick fights on and you can go quick, you can make your fights go two times speed, especially if you want to go to your fights really quickly. Let's go to the next feature. Stop exploration when. All right, now you get to a new heading of controls within your Explore settings. This is what happens that allows you to stop the exploring. Now before when we had Explore, it didn't stop unless you manually stopped it. But now with these new features, you can have it automatically stop under these conditions. And here's some of the conditions. Quick stop exploration when. It can stop exploration when. Backpack is full, switch button on. And that's amazing. Double tap to toggle setting. If your backpack is full, it will stop exploring. You could turn this off or turn it on. Now, if you're in a hurry, you don't really care that you're missing items, you can just leave this off and it will complete its expiration even if you don't get any new items. Now, the old way was everything that you got was just thrown away if your backpack was already full. Now, when you went to your items tab, it would tell you, hey, your backpack is full. You can't get anything else. But with this new feature, it automatically turns off auto fight, and auto explore, excuse me. And you can go back to your items and get rid of stuff, recycle items, place gems into items, do the things you need to do, put items into your armory, donate items to your particular clan when you're talking about the altar. So you can do all kinds of cool things now, simply because you know that your items are full. And this is a really great feature. Probably the best feature in this settings menu. Let's go to the next one. District boss unlock, switch button, on. 
All Double right. tap to toggle setting. When a district boss, which is the, there are five districts in edit every exploration area. Whenever a district boss is unlocked, it's due to the number of explorers you've done in their district. Now the district boss won't unlock until you've done the prerequisite number of explorers. The old way was you would keep exploring even past the prerequisite amount. But now with this new feature, which is amazing, it stops and brings you to the boss fight. For those of you who are visually diverse, you'll see a little skull and you can now pay the 25 water to fight the district boss. But this is a great feature because now it stops and you immediately know, hey, I am at a district boss. It's time to stop ex auto exploring and beat this boss. All right. It also gives you a chance to take any buff drinks that you need in case it's a really difficult district boss. All right, so that's a great new feature. Let's go to the next one. Quest is ready. Switch button. Off. Double tap to toggle setting. All right, when a quest is ready, you can turn this feature off or on so it will stop. So quests happen, and these quests are kind of very lightweight quests, but basically something might happen and they're going to ask you if you want to participate in the quest. You can make it so that the auto explorer will stop and give you a chance to respond. I don't because my character is strong enough to beat everything, but you may not have a character strong enough to beat every single creature that you encounter. So quests are basically given to you to explore certain parts of the wasteland, to find certain monsters, to explore caves, dens, mountains, really strange, unique places. All right, let's go to the next item. Special event encountered. Switch button. Off. If you tap to toggle setting. If you encounter a special event, the game will, if you have this feature on, it will stop the auto explorer and tell you about it. So this is great if some of you who really like to know whenever a special event occurs, this will stop it automatically and allow you to know and hear the wonderful flavor text and description that is in the app. So this is a great feature. Let's go to the next item. Previous battle was lost. Switch button off. Now this Double tap is to toggle setting. This is one of the things that was a big problem for when I used to play New Death Black because I didn't know that they lost. So when they lost, it would just keep fighting the same creature and losing over and over again. With this feature, you can make it so that when you lose, you stop auto battling. It's just great if you're a new player or if you have a new character who isn't quite strong enough. This way you're not wasting water. You can do your upgrades, you can do your enchants, you can put gems into your items, you can upgrade yourself. So let's say you have a little bit of time and you're fighting a really tough district boss. Well, what you could do in this situation is if you know you've just lost and Auto Explorer turns off, you can take some time, upgrade your character, and then maybe after a couple hours, come back and work on this again. But the good thing is you're not slamming yourself into a bunch of losses. You are stopped and it gives you a chance to upgrade your gear. Great feature. Chest is ready to open. Switch button. Off. All Double right. tap to toggle setting. When a chest is ready to be opened, you can have it stop auto exploring and you can do an individual listen into what the chest is. So this is a great feature if you really like knowing everything that you receive. This is quite fun. Close. And then, of course, perfectly accessible. You can close the menu. Nice little close button. Double tap. Close. That. And Money there sources. you go. Cash 2.84M. Bottle cap. You are out of the special expiration settings menu. New feature added in the latest update. My name is Mike. This is Gaming Accessibility with Mike every day, and this has been Lost Vault. Thank you very much, and give the game a try. It's absolutely amazing. It has so many new features in its latest update. Very fun. Take care, everyone.